Hi, I'm Cindy Shepard with Design Originals, and today I would like to share with you some of my favorite pens to use for journaling and to incorporate into card making. They're gel pens. They come in all different types. They have their souffle, uh, glaze pens. Sakura has these wonderful stardust pens now, metallic, and your regular gel pens, and you can use them in a lot of different ways. I'm going to use them today uh, with some of these really cute house stamps that have little mustaches on them. I'm going to make a little village. First I'm going to stamp the image. There you go. Be sure you close your stamp pad after you've used it. And then for the doodling that I'm going to do, I'm going to take um, glaze pen from Sakura and start making some little roads here. The glaze pen is a very, very thick gel pen. You could also use their regular jelly roll pen, which has a little thinner line. They would either one of them would work well for this project. Now you do have to go a little bit slower when you use a gel pen or one of the um, any type of pen that's got some texture to it because it does and it also dries a lot slower than than normal so I'm just making some little thick lines here that I'm going to go back and, and color in. Let's put a little bush there. How uh, about a little mailbox? We want this guy to get his mail. Okay, and since it takes a little bit, a little while to dry, I'm going to go on to one that I've already got the black lines on. And with this one, I'm going to show you just a few techniques and a few types of of pen. This is the Jelly Roll metallic pen. I'm going to start out marking in here with my little swirls, color my little tree. And again, I'm going kind of slow. Okay, I'm going to mix and match my pens here. The glaze pen is a really raised surface. Now you do need to go slow with these, but um, they will raise almost as if you've embossed them. So get that on there good and thick. And then I'm going to use one of these Stardust pens. These are really beautiful. These have a lot of glitter in them. All of these pens can be used for um, just as you would any kind of watercolor pen or some of your markers. So I'm going to show you today how to, to add some water to, to your projects. Let's start with um, let's start with one of the Stardust pens here. I'm going to start coloring the roof on this little guy. Just get a lot of wet pen out there. Then I'm going to take a, an H2O, one of these water pens, and I'm just going to start dragging it through. Now this paper is a cardstock, so it may not work as well as some other papers when you're using your water media. Um, try using watercolor paper. That usually works really well. I kind of like the effect though when you have the light to dark. And just grab some of that real quick and start. Gonna add a little bit more right in here. Okay, we're gonna use a glaze pen and we're going to use some water to kind of carry that color so that it goes from a, a dark vibrant color to a little bit lighter color, kind of like a watercolor pen. Now all of the gel pens that I have found will work with this technique. Some of them work better than others. They work on different types of paper in a different way. So you just need to experiment with that. If this is the glaze pen, the one that is normally a very raised surface and it can be very thick you can also go back in over these pens um, and use them twice, maybe use an additional color. Let's try that with our green here. We're going to use a metallic Jelly Roll pen. And I'm going to get some color on this. Just 
just as I'm scribbling on here, I'm not even going to cover every area. I'm going to leave a few of them white now. See what we can do with that. So I'm going to take another color. This is your regular Jelly Roll in green. And I'm going to go back over and kind of start blending it a little bit. And that can give even some dimension to some of your drawings just to add that additional colors with a different type of pen. There, that's fun. I want to show you some of the other ways that I've worked with. I like to do a lot of journaling. This is one of my um, mixed media journals. I believe it's got mixed media paper in it. And you can see maybe some of the different effects. This one is used simply with um, the pens that have some, some texture to them, like the um, souffle and the glaze pens. Those are the kind of raised texture, and I really love the vibrant color that you can get with those. This is where I have used um, watercolor. Again, I've used all the different types of jelly roll pens, but adding water to them, you can see how I can get that graduation of color, and sometimes you'll go back in and, and add some additional color with it. And also, I like to use it in, in, I do a lot of smash journals and making my own journals with envelopes. So I have taken that and put some of the house pens on there. Now, the thing is, um, a lot of times gel pens, I find that they don't work on every surface. So what I like to do, especially for this type of surface, is I like to go ahead and just use my stamp on tissue paper and the gel pens work beautifully on tissue paper. It just really absorbs it, and that way, after I've finished that, I can put them on with a uh, matte medium. So I've done this page, and then here's another page here. This is a fun little squiggle that I did with jelly roll pens, and I've done it over a page that I sprayed with ink. And over here, I have experimented some. You can also use your gel pens and put embossing powder on them. So while the gel pen was still wet, I put the, embo the clear embossing powder on there and then used a heat gun with it. Here's another little cute artist card that I did. I painted it with acrylic paint, took tissue paper, and uh, put gel pen in the design and put that over it. So if you, if you really like playing with gel pens and you don't know exactly what to do with them, this is a book that Design Originals has that will give you some really good ideas, uh, especially for children. You can put it on your sneakers. It works on clothing. It will give you tips on how to do that. And this gives you a little idea as to the different types of pens because there are so many now on the market. It's a little bit confusing. It's got some good projects for you, how to add a negative space, swirls, cross hatching. It's got some good ideas for printing, for mark, mark making. So this would be a really fun addition to uh, your library if you like to do journaling or if you have a child that might want to do something like that with you too. That's the gel pen doodle book from Design Originals.